Well, hello everyone. iOS 16 beta 3 just actually ended up coming out, aka the next public beta. So this is actually very interesting. This is the first public beta, which is essentially the same thing as beta 3, a new revised version that came out today. Now, this specific update version came out to about 1.09 gigabytes coming from beta 3 of last week. So that was actually very interesting. If you want to install it, I'm going to show you how, but I really, really would recommend not installing it on your main device. But if for some reason you want to go for it, then all you have to do, I read this from The Verge, it's essentially the same process as before. What you want to do is you want to go to this specific beta website. We're going to enroll our iOS device. We're going to go ahead and basically just agree to their confirms, conditions, whatever. We're going to download the profile, and then we're going to go ahead and install that profile. So to do this, we're going to make our way over to this specific website. I'll try to link this down in the description. Sometimes the links get flagged, but if not, essentially we make our way over to the we make our way over to the beta.apple.com slash beta profiles, which like I said, I'll probably link it in the description. We want to go ahead and sign in with our account. So we can go and click sign in right there. It's going to sign in with our essential account. Once signed in, we should be good to go. Do keep in mind, we will need to have an iPhone 8 or newer to do this. When you get to this point, all you want to do is go ahead and click accept. And once you're accepted, you're pretty much good to go. All you want to do here, scroll down right here where it says enroll your iOS device, you wanna click enroll, and then you wanna go ahead and make sure you have a backup and everything like that. You wanna go and click download profile. So we're going to go ahead and download this profile. We can just go and click allow. And what we wanna do is click close. And now what we wanna do is we wanna make our way over to our settings application like this. I'm gonna scroll down into general. We're gonna scroll down into VPN and device management. It keeps changing. And right here where it says iOS 16 beta software profile, you should only have one of these. It probably could be this one as well. As you can see, this is the public beta, I think. All you want to do is go ahead and install it, which is in the top profile section right here. So you want to go ahead and click install. And at that point, you should be able to reboot your device. Come back into the software update panel here. And all you want to do is just go and update your phone. And you should see that iOS 16 beta as of this point. So that is how to install it. Now the actual cross, now the actual update here, like I said, it was 1.09 gigabytes. So it wasn't a small size update in my opinion coming from the previous build number, which was also beta three. Now the build numbers changed apparently, but this is still really cool. This is still really cool that they went ahead and made some improvements and some changes. Now, I don't know of any crazy cool features that they added in this specific version of software. I have seen a few things within beta three that they've done, but other than that, I mean, there seems to be about the same amount of features as before, which I'm totally okay with like i mentioned every time they like i mentioned every time they go ahead and actually create some sort of new beta i hate when they just increase the amount of features rather than increasing the amount of stability in my opinion beta 3 has been fairly stable i've installed it on mostly all my devices and it seems like it's a fairly stable experience however that doesn't mean you should go ahead and install it. And this beta three, as of right now, essentially from what I understand has the same build number as, as you can see, iOS version, and this should have the same build number as the public beta. So if you're going through and installing the public beta, do keep in mind that even on the most stable version of software, which is right now, it's still going to be giving you bugs. If you want to have a really good resource, I recommend going over to the subreddit of iOS beta, and they do a great job at explaining all the issues and all the bugs within each individual beta of software. So this is a tremendous resource. As you can see, there's there's thousands of people online all the time. And this is an awesome resource for sure. Just, you know, if you're going through and you're trying to see what the changes are or if it's stable or not, I would recommend going through here and pretty much going from there. So the question that I'm going to get all the time is, should you install the iOS 16 public beta on your iPhone? Now I want to show you right now, this is an iPhone 12 Pro. This is a fairly newer iPhone. It's not severely outdated. And even on an iPhone like this, I'm getting tons of bugs. Even on my iPhone 13, I'm getting tons of bugs and tons of issues. So just because you have the opportunity of installing it doesn't mean you should. And after using iOS 16 for the last month or so, and you know, for better or for worse, using all the features and all those other things, there's no feature within this public beta or even the previous versions of iOS 16 that are worth you know breaking your phone or causing some serious issues. You will not believe how many issues people have when they update your phone. Like I said, even on the subreddit iOS beta. Many people constantly talk about how there's always issues within betas. And again, you don't have to go to just the subreddit. It kind of just makes sense. Anytime you go and update your phone, there can be some potential issues. And although iOS 16 right now does seem like a fairly stable version of software, that doesn't mean this is, this is that doesn't mean this is the best beta to go for. So by that being said, I think iOS 16 has a long ways to go. I think it's going to get stable throughout time, but I just would not recommend installing the public beta just yet. I would recommend waiting out until maybe a few more versions of software. I think iOS 16, like I said, has 
little bit of time to mature. I think it's going to get better throughout time, but it makes absolutely no sense to go ahead and install iOS 16, even on a public beta, even when it's officially released. I would probably recommend waiting until like October, November to install iOS 16 on your personal device. So that's kind of what I'm saying. If you have a side device of some sort, then I would recommend installing it, then it doesn't really matter. But if you have it on a personal device, you can probably rest assured you're going to have some issues regardless. So that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.